Kochani, jestem w Toskanii, we Włoszech. Mam dzisiaj fantastyczną przewodniczkę Federikę i to będzie odcinek o... Chianti Classico! Oglądajcie do końca! This is Federica from the winery of Volpaia. Volpaia. Uh, one of the most important wineries in the region, for sure, very traditional, historical place, and you will explain us everything yes, about it. I, I try to explain you everything about it. I'm really uh, have a big honor to be here to talk about uh, my family winery that goes back um, in 1172. So a lot of history, a lot of uh, history in in the little village of uh, Volpaia, but <laughs> also in, uh, in the wine estate, owned uh, by my family since the 1966. 1966, but the city of Volpaia is from the Middle Ages. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And so inside uh, the little uh, village that we have uh, here in our background, you have all the facility of uh, the winery, so it's everything hide in the old buildings mm -hmm. from the stainless steel to the aging cellar. And uh, we have even a stainless steel pipeline that runs on the ground and connects each single building. Mm -hmm. They even used uh, old churches uh, uh, for, <laughs> for the wine purposes. It's a holy wine. Yeah? <laughs> it's a say. holy wine, yeah. <laughs> Vino Santo. But Vino Santo is a so something different. We will explain Vino Santo. Yes, uh, to you later. So first, let's talk about Chianti. So Tuscany is only about Chianti. No, Tuscany is about a lot of different uh, wines, a lot of different wine region. Mm -hmm. So Chianti is one of the wine region and at the same time a wine that is different. But the Chianti wine region, it's uh, where we make uh, the Chianti Classico. Exactly. So it is uh, the area between Firenze and Siena. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Volpaia in the Radda commune, in mm -hmm. the Radda um, area. And uh, it's in the middle of the heart, we can say, of the Chianti Classico. And specifically, uh, Volpaia, it's very high elevated. It's uh, up here in this vineyard. We are around 650 meters above the sea level. Yes, I, I, I felt that when we were going up and up <laughs> and up, yeah. Yes. With this nice sun, <laughs> yeah, do you mean? <laughs> so we are in the beating heart of Chianti Classico and I want you to tell me a little bit about the soil and the climate of this region, okay? So the, the climate of the area of Volpaia is the climate of uh, Radden Chianti. So as you can see in the background, you have a lot of uh, uh, woods, a lot of uh, forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that helps very much uh, to have a different microclimate from yeah. other areas uh, because it makes much more cooler climate mm -hmm. even in uh, such a hot uh, summer as we have in Tuscany and so you have a nice excursion of temperature between day and night also for the elevation of Volpaia this one mm -hmm. so it's a very unique uh, microclimate for sure in this mm -hmm. place there is some influence from the sea or not anymore no, I we think are uh, too far. Yes, yes I think mm -hmm. we are too far. It's uh, two hours by car exactly. from the sea, and and we have several hills in the front of okay. us. Okay. Chianti Classico is one hundred Sangiovese. No, 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 no. The rules says. Uh, 80% up to 100. Okay. So in a certain sense, we have a 20% of freedom. So we have a list of uh, wines, of grapes that we can use it. Mm -hmm. Some also international, basically mm -hmm. also a lot of uh, local grapes. Mm -hmm. um, and so each single winery has uh, its own... Uh, recipe. Recipe, exactly. Yeah. The okay. recipe is the perfect word, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. And so, uh, so, so Sangiovese plus 20, eventually 20 other grapes. Um, oak or no oak? New oak, old oak, big, small. As again, <laughs> this is, is not a small uh, freedom that we have mm -hmm. uh, for the Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. So talking about the Chianti Classico, it says that they cannot get it in the market before one year, but that doesn't say exactly how. Okay. Uh, so it could be uh, even in cement. One year in cement. Mm. One year in the oak, used oak, new oak. So uh, this is the reason why you have a uh, difference uh, between uh, one Chianti Classico to the other one. So it's not only the region, uh, the soil, but mm -hmm. it could be also mm -hmm. the way of aging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's always this quite juicy, 
like cherry, strawberry flavored wine with quite fresh acidity, not too much tannins. And something else? Which it's is uh, not too big, usually the exactly. body. Exactly. So for sure, Yasa is yeah. like this. Uh, they usually, especially the Chianti Classico, has that, needs to have that lightness inside. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's not so structured. So big wine. I mean, you, you have the tannins, that one for sure, yeah. but not too big. Yeah. Eh? Uh, it's not so a primitivo, no, it's not no. an amarone. No, for sure it's yeah. not an amarone. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Very different on mm -hmm. that point, but uh, you have that acidity mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of structure, but mm -hmm. not too much, mm -hmm. that uh, reminds you that it's a wine that you enjoy even more sitting at the table. Yes. Exactly. This is a pairing wine. Yes, for sure. And you pair it mostly with uh, what? Uh, oh, with uh, like um, salami, with a uh, steak, mm -hmm. uh, especially the, when we start to talk about the reserva, a steak is something of amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, with even a pasta, simple with, pasta. Yeah, with, with um, pomodoro pasta. Yes, so, so. or uh, even a ragu mm -hmm. with a touch of meat. I'm sorry for the vegetarian, sorry. It's the, not, a, I'm not, a, I don't want to be impolite. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult in Italy to be vegetarian, actually. Yes, it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah. Uh, you said, uh, <laughs> Chianti Reserva, let's explain what is Chianti Reserva in this case. So Chianti Reserva uh, is again, uh, the rules uh, says 80% up to 100% of Sangiovese and, uh, and says uh, two years of aging. And at least uh, three months of this uh, two years has to be in the bottle. Mm -hmm. But again, it doesn't say exactly how you have to age the wine. Okay. So it's again a little bit of freedom for each single producer to create mm -hmm. his own recipe, as we said before. Okay. What happened? We have this traditional old... Oh, hello. Oh, uh, traditional, <laughs> I'm organic, like, we are organic. Yeah, that is I'm like a flower. <laughs> uh, so we have this original, traditional uh, region of Chianti Classico, mm -hmm. and then it, it expands. Yes. And then this expansion is called Chianti. Yes. Uh, we it's can say that? More or less, because uh, geographically talking is not Chianti. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in this uh, um, expanded area, they make a wine that mm -hmm. is called Chianti, mm -hmm. with different rules uh, compared to the Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is the most difficult part for everybody, because uh, Chianti e Classico, they think it's the same things. But yeah. actually, they are totally different. Mm -hmm. Made in both with the Sangiovese, but came from different region, from different rules, yeah. from different consortia. Mm -hmm. So we can say Chianti, Chianti Classico, Brunello, all of them Vino are, made, yeah, are made with Sangiovese. Exactly. But different, totally different rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Chianti Classico has this symbol. Yes, the black roaster up here. Yeah. So this one is the symbol uh, of uh, the Chianti Classico mm -hmm. wines. I really like Chianti. I can show you even I have a, a roaster here. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't know. This is, you just told me for the first yeah. time. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about other symbols. Uh, you bring yes, these uh, bottles also to show us some symbol on the bottle. Yes, because you see there is a drawing mm -hmm. here. Uh, it is a church uh, with that, uh, have you can, uh, as you can see here in the background, it is the same. This was a drawing made uh, by uh, a very good friend of my grandfather, um, that, um, Luciano Guarnieri, because it's uh, the symbol more or less of Volpaia to put it as uh, the symbol of our Chianti Classico. Amazing, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Because actually the whole Volpaia city is a wine city, we can call it. We are walking on the, on the uh, river of wine. Yes, uh, in I the like pipes. This one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So that makes me feel uh, hungry for some wine. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. So, so let's taste some wine now. Wonderful. Okay. I'm so what do you want me to taste? I want to let you try um, our Reserva, mm -hmm. uh, so 100% of Sangiovese. Okay. A 2018 vintage that I think here in Volpaia it's showing very, very well. And this one it's aged for two years, 24 months, and then the time in the bottle. Mm -hmm. In big in oak? In big oak. How much yes. liter? Uh, 30 hectoliters. 30 hectoliters, really yes. big barrels. Yes. Okay. In order not to overpower the wine, not to give too much. Exactly. I don't know. To have vanilla the balance. flavors, etc. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave you all by yourself, so Good. I can. Good. And Never drink alone. <laughs> 
always the find, <laughs> always find the friends. <laughs> okay. So, salute. Cheers. Salute. Hmm. So you have a nice uh, flavor, so like uh, the. Um, Always in English for me is the complicated la mora. La mora, la mûre in French and blackberry in English. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's Jena in Polish. Uh -huh, la mora. But at the same time you have the cherry. There is cherry, yes. but more like darker cherry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly that one. We can say the normal cherry, it's in the Chianti Classico, exactly and in that. the Reserva, mm -hmm. you have yeah, that yeah, much more yeah. the darker cherry. And in the Chianti Classico, sometimes there is cherry, and sometimes there's a little bit like a cranberry freshness. I totally agree yeah, with you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, super. And it has this vibrancy. It's really yeah. vibrant and energetic and quite like a, li a little bit of spiciness. And at the same time, uh, mm. uh, you feel also elegant, it's mm -hmm. like it's not a heavy wine, mm -hmm. you still have a nice uh, body structure in the wine, mm -hmm. um, definitely. I will ask you a very difficult question. <laughs> Try. Because I'm asking this question all the time. Mm -hmm. So, the difference between Chianti Classico, Brunello and Vino Nobile Can I ask help at the home and make a phone call? <laughs> call my friends. Call my friends. <laughs> ask uh, the audience. It's um, the difference between the three wines. Eh? Like the three important appellations of Tuscany. For sure, usually between uh, like a Brunello and mm -hmm. uh, a Chianti Classico, um, I would say um, that Brunello usually is uh, lower in altitude and much closer to the sea. So yes. I think it has much more impact uh, from the sea. Mm -hmm. And uh, lower means uh, uh, the weather usually is a bit hotter than mm -hmm. what you can find. I talk about specifically in Volpaia, but yeah. uh, Radna, generally talking, mm -hmm. uh, not all over Chianti Classico because you have areas of the Chianti Classico that are much more lower, lower in altitude. Well, yes. mm -hmm. uh, so I would say Brunello usually bigger, bigger yeah. and, um, and it also in the tannins. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Chianti Classico usually has much more freshness that mm -hmm. comes out. And Nobile, because that one, for, for sure, it's my, my problem that I cannot describe properly. What do you usually, if you actually, want to tell yeah, me? Actually, you... actually, Vino Nobile is, is, is an amazing wine which is really good for like everyday wine. Yes, it's much more easy. From exactly. my point of view, it's exactly. much more everyday. Yeah, really. it's, it's food dry, driven with, uh, with vibrant acidity and very like tiny tannins. Okay. We just had a 30 years old um, Vino Nobile. Nice. Yeah, from 91. Wow. Yeah, and it was extremely fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of course, tertiary aromas, mm -hmm. but it was so, the, these aromas were the aromas of castaños, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ch oak? chestnuts, no, chestnuts. That's, that's chestnut. but not so. oak, but like chestnuts you, you eat. So this, this a little bit uh, sweety and earthy flavor of chestnuts, the acidity was still there and it was really like suave, you know, like, like, like soft, uh, nice. really like, like a fresh wind. Uh, with a little flavor of smoked chestnuts. You just made me want to go there and try their wines. Yeah, that was you were. <laughs> really? Yes. And we had it with, uh, with pasta with truffles. Ah. Fantastic pairing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like uh, old vintages usually yeah. with truffles because mm -hmm. they are much more delicate and so... Yeah, and they, they became earthy. Like, yes. like Sangiovese is becoming earthy with yeah. age. So yeah, this is yeah. a nice pairing. Okay, and now the second one. Yes, we have to finish the glass. Sorry. No problem. Colta sala. Colta sala. What is colta sala? Colta sala is a single vineyard. This color. <laughs> this is the reason why we have yeah. the white palette pens. Exactly. To be able to make the right taste. This is <laughs> professional. <laughs> and here, this one was born a long time ago when you were not allowed to have a 95% of Sangiovese in a Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. So we can say it was a, like almost a, a pioneer. Mm -hmm. uh, a rebel wine. Yes, we have to be Sangiovese in Chianti Classico. <laughs> <laughs> and with the flag of the Sangiovese mm -hmm. waving. And uh, so actually it was born as the lowest category. We were talking before about Super Tuscan. Yeah. So it's uh, the lowest category as a Vino da Tavola. 
became IGT, mm -hmm. Chianti Classico Reserva, mm -hmm. and now is a Gran Selezione, but the wine is still the same. So now this is the time to talk about a special category in Chianti Classico yeah. called Gran Selezione. Mm -hmm. What is Gran Selezione? Gran Selezione, uh, for the moment below, says something, says uh, your own grape. But for me and for most of the producer, of uh, um, family producer, the Gran Selezione means usually a single, single vineyard. vineyard. So mm -hmm. a piece of land that you really trust and you think is the best one, basically on San Giovese. And, uh, and so you select it and then you create your Gran Selezione. It usually has much more tanning and structure mm -hmm. compared to a normal uh, Chianti Classico Reserva or a Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. Each single wine has to do a blind tasting Mm -hmm. with a, a panel of uh, winemakers from different wineries from everywhere and they have to judge in a blind tasting and tell you yes it can be called Gran Selezione, mm -hmm. no it cannot be called Gran Selezione mm -hmm. and, uh, and wherever and so it's um, and when they make the test they need to have a, a, an idea of what it is a uh, Gran mm -hmm. Selezione usually you have to find bigger wines mm -hmm. with also a bigger mm -hmm. structure mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. wine and can you explain explain to the viewers how do you create a wine which is always from Sangiovese but it's bigger. So it is the time of the picking but at the same time you have to see the ripeness of the seeds yeah. because you know, you know it's not only the sweetness mm -hmm. but you have the skin and the, the juice seeds. and the seeds. And in so, the seeds if there is not <laughs> ripeness then you have green tones etc. Et exactly. So, yeah. so you, you have uh, all these balance that have uh, to be mm -hmm. specifically to get the best uh, extraction. Yeah. And, and then also the contact usually for the skin for uh, uh, wines like, uh, with this, like this one, uh, we keep longer. Exactly. So usually the vinification is much longer, longer. for a Gran yeah. Selezione mm -hmm. than a Chianti Slower. Classico. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and then there are a difference between these two wines. Uh, the Colta Sala, it's aged in uh, Barrique. Okay. Uh, so barrique are smaller, yes. uh, French barrique, so 225 uh, yes, liters. Yes, exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. the, the classic French barrique mm -hmm. actually is really the French producer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on this one uh, they are really good, not only in this, but it's okay. It's a polemic <laughs> part between Italian and French. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Which ones are better? <laughs> yes. And so um, uh, we age in Barrique, also that one gives much more mm -hmm. structure for mm -hmm. sure at the wine. It's only one third the new Barrique and then it's a second or third the Paschal. Yeah, and actually in this wine you feel more Barrique. Yes. You feel more, but not only this, uh, this smokiness, but also more uh, spices, like spices you use yeah. for your uh, Christmas, uh, uh, you know, Christmas cake, yes. this kind of spices. And a little bit of sweetness, like licorice sweetness. Licorice. The... That one is what exactly. I was uh, yeah. pulling out. Yeah. I was wanted to say, yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah. licorice. Uh, and also, the difference for me is in the tannins, because here the tannins are like riper. Mm -hmm. And in the Chianti Classico, very often for me, the tannins are a little bit dusty. Mm -hmm. And here they are like cleaner and, and silker and riper. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what No, 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 no. And it was a very special vintage. 17 uh, was a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely was a big challenge, but we yeah, are very happy it's a very difficult, for, yeah. uh, for the result. Yeah. But I want to say, I said always 95% because there is a 5% of a local grape, very unknown. Uh -huh. Which it's one? It's called Mammolo. Uh, Mammolo means uh, violet, so it's a touch of violet yeah. inside yeah. the glass, so yeah. it's good. When you were talking about the color, is that the intensity made by the mammal? Absolutely. But we are in a special room. Yes. Uh, do you call this room? There is a Vinsantaya. Vinsantaya, because they produce grapes for Vinsanto here and they age Vinsanto in the little yes. barrels here. Caratelli. Caratelli. Oh, you know, I didn't know this name. Huh? I, 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 I learned something. <laughs> Caratelli. Si, exactly. So, can we taste also just to finish? Yes, uh, this is our Vinsanto, so Malvasia and Trebbiano, the white mm -hmm. grapes, mm -hmm. that in the past were inside the Chianti Classico, yes, so yeah. now it's not anymore in the Chianti Classico, the white grape. And this is interesting. So, in the past, uh, you were making Chianti Classico with uh, red grapes and addition of white grapes. Yes. 
Yes. You still can do it in many, uh, actually many appellations in Europe, mm -hmm. but not anymore in Chianti Classico. Exactly. Yeah. That is the, when we were talking about rustic or old Chianti Classico style or mm -hmm. modern mm -hmm. Chianti Classico mm -hmm. style is that one. The white grapes were given much more acidity yeah. to the to the wine compared yeah. uh, to, to now. May, maybe it's not a bad idea because we need acidity today yes, with, with changes of the weather. So yes. maybe it will be a nice idea to can go back to that. <laughs> that is going to be a big challenge. <laughs> I know. I know. But so how um, do you do Vin, Vin Santo? Yes, we we have a lot of chains in this room, so all of this has to line down. Then we have a hook and we hang each single bunch of grape all over. So this room will become totally full of grape. So we will never even be able to sit inside here. Okay. Because uh, all of this uh, will be uh, full of uh, Malvasia and Trebbiano. Hanging. Hanging. So open windows. So the blowing no. mm -hmm. Uh, wind could go all around uh, the grape and to dry them. Yes, mm -hmm. to dry. Then after uh, three, four months, uh, around uh, December, January, we press uh, and the juice is uh, placed inside uh, there in the small uh, barrique, the mm -hmm. Carretelli. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wait uh, around four or five years. Okay. So this one is a uh, 2015 uh, mm. Santo. But inside, the, the very important part is the mother, so the east mm -hmm. of the Vinsanta that was there the year before. Okay. So it will be a very slowly process, mm -hmm. of stop and go fermentation. All of this is under the roof, so it's important also this. Yeah. So changing of the temperature between day and night mm -hmm. in a different season. Okay. So what we have here, it's... Uh, it's a wine with the sweetness, but at the same time, acidity and freshness. Amazing acidity and freshness, yes. And there is a little bit of dried fruits, of course, mm -hmm. which is quite normal, but also something like uh, white truffles. And if you think about cheeses, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. pair this one with cheeses, mm -hmm. for me, is the best. Mm -hmm. I don't want to consider this one as a dessert. No. I want to consider this as a food wine. Exactly. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Like, like French do with Sauterne, they, they pair it with foie gras mm -hmm. and with cheese. Uh, this is a perfect yes. pairing, like uh, Comté uh, or some Italian, of course, uh, old cheeses. But uh, even uh, like if you think or about... Pecorino, uh, like old yes. Pecorino. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much.